Nobody saw this one coming. <laughs> it's kind of weird how Carl Edwards decides to just randomly say he's going to retire. Now, some people might say he might be pulling on Mark Martin, or he might retire for a year and then come back next year. And um, this is something because um, I really like Carl Edwards as um, racing. Always fun to watch. He's always a nice, humble guy. Now, I don't know if Squishy's like he's getting too much upset about what's happening in his past. Like, almost winning two championships. Like, one, photo, like, literally points tied wise and then like, wrecked. Like, that's kind of hard to do. See, it's. I really hope he does come back. This is, he's only 37. This is like around time where a football player would re retire. You know what I mean? So this is kind of weird. I mean, very weird. Very weird. Very weird. Why, why would he just randomly just retire? Like, someone said like before Christmas, she wasn't thinking about any of that. Randomly says she wants to retire. Like, fun fact, in the past three years, we've had four people retire. And fact, um, fun fact, they've all either gotten damaged or crashed in, a, in a five, the 500 the last year. Terry Labonte crashed in this last 500. Chef Gordon crashed in this last 500. Tony Stewart, well, his car crashed in 500. We didn't get to ra he didn't get to race in it, though. Like, it still counts, because he owns the car. And uh, Edwards, he might he might finish the race, but he was involved in a crash with one of Stewart's cars. I think, I think that was the same crash. <clears throat> so Edwards had the best out of all of them that have crashed so far. Um, no fun fact. If, if, I think if this is true, I think the Bonnie crashed in the Tokyo 400 2014 as well, and 2015 Gordon crashed as well, and the Tokyo 400. Tony Stewart also crashed in the Coke 400. I think Edwards might have finished though. I'm not sure. He might have crashed in that race too. <laughs> so like it would be funny, like they both crashed both Daytona races in the final year. So if that ever happens to someone else in the near future, think about of them retiring that year. <laughs> and if someone comes close to you know winning a championship twice in a row, like oh, it's heartbreaking. Very surprising. Yeah. Very surprising. I never thought he would just ram say that. I thought he had a good, saw at least six more years left. He's the kind of guy that reached like, you know, 45 years old. It's just disappointing. I mean, I was hoping, I'm hope if he does come back, he's going to come back like Mark Martin. Well, no way, Mark Martin, but he retired in 2006, right? He didn't come back for like two years or three years, wasn't that? Wasn't that what happened? He didn't come back for like three years? Or was it one year? One of those two. I know in 2006 he'd be tired, dude. He must skip 2007, 2008, came back in 2009. <laughs> no matter what happened. It came back strong for what? Four or five wins? That happened to Mark Martin? Now, Carl Eggers could do the same thing, except. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of disappointing. I was really hoping he would, you know, get a better future. Like, he's had some good. He's, he's, he's won a pretty good amount of races for a driver. I mean, no, for okay, yeah, I, I, I expect him. He's the guy that would win a championship and not brag, for sure. Multiple championships, in fact, he'd be the kind of driver to do that. He could have two right now. You know, he could have two. One spot, for one of them, and not wrecking as another. One. You know, no, the first one he would have had had maybe more time. Maybe he probably would have won. And the one last year, aka 2016, if he, would that cost him not come out for that one car before the final rest, uh, restart where he crashed, he would be the champion. So, he would definitely be at least a one time champion. It was not for that one caution. So, he's technically a champion without that caution. So, yeah, I mean, if, if I was, I mean, anybody want, want, uh, Coca Cola 600 win, 500 win, Indianapolis 500 win, Seller 500, and a championship. That's what they all want in their career. Kurt Busch, Kurt Busch won a Coke, I think the Seller 500 maybe. 
You won a championship. Now, what was the other ones? Oh, oh, I forgot about the all-star race. Egbert's won the all-star race. Kurt Busch won the all-star race. Um, what was the other one I said? I said Daytona and Indianapolis. Kurt Busch, that's not one. At the two. Biggest races of the year. That sucks. I think he will, though, some sometime. I mean, he's got a good, solid few years left. This year was, you know, it was decent. Me and the Chase won the final rounds. Decent. That's decent for him. So he's a champion. So all he needs really to complete his resume, I think, would be the Southern 500 if he has not won it yet. And the Indianapolis 500, I don't think he's won yet. And the 500. Or at least any restrictor play track, as a matter of fact. Anyways, Carl Edwards retiring. That's a big shocker. Very disappointing. Hope he returns.